Bernard Hopkins was accused during the weigh-in of having testosterone cream on his hands, PBC, Gervonta's promoter, banned them from everything. He couldn't get inside the ring. He couldn't do anything during the promotion. You guys don't know this. I received death threats throughout the whole week and they just said it was simply too dangerous. So we got out of there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, um, I'm not going to look in it, into it too much, but I know, you know, you guys come here for my opinion um, on the situation. And, you know, thanks to the show business partner who sent this to me, um, Ryan Garcia response, you know, saying that he wasn't alone. Uh, Jesus walks with him. And that kind of feels like a response to De La Hoya directly. In a sense where, you know, I know what De La Hoya said about why B-Hop wasn't there. The reason why he wasn't there. But Ryan Garcia's response wasn't, it's okay, y'all. I met up with De La Hoya and B-Hop, you know, five minutes after I left the press. You, you get what I'm saying? It's, I'm not sure if he's seen him. I'm not sure if he's seen B-Hop either. I'm not sure if he, uh, he may have spoken to him, I'm sure. But I'm not sure if he was embraced by them or anything like that. Um, and look, no one has said anything to me or anything like this is just me uh, and what I'm drawing from um, what Ryan Garcia said as a response. And it, 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 it feels like, I don't know, Ryan, that Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis inherited the Mayweather De La Hoya beef, you know, like Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. It could have been easy for security to take Oscar away from the situation because remember what Leonard Ellerby said? Remember this? That's exactly why we took all your fucking fighters Ooh. and Floyd beat them all <laughs> while you've been asleep under the fucking wheel, okay? And it's going to be no different this come this Saturday night. Okay. De La Hoya is a competitor and he's never bested Floyd Mayweather, all right? Um, that can get exhausting, but here's the thing. It wasn't Oscar versus Floyd. It wasn't Golden Boy um, versus the PBC. It wasn't. No matter what it wasn't. It was Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia having a competition for the face of boxing. The face of boxing. The face of boxing. Okay? And end up being Javante uh, Tank Davis as the face of boxing. But I'm, I'm, I do get a feel that, you know, maybe Golden Boy or Oscar De La Hoya at least felt that it was an extension of him versus Floyd Mayweather. And, and you know, that helped sell the fight anyway. You know, people thought about this. OK, this is like Floyd and Oscar all over again. Ryan Garcia, Javante Tank Davis. You can't help but to think about that. And in this case, once again, um. If that's the case, Mayweather bested Oscar De La Hoya. That doesn't feel good. And I think that was being a bit selfish. I think um, if Oscar De La Hoya and B-Hop, a big if, if they did not meet with Ryan Garcia soon afterwards and embraced him and stuff like that, um, Ryan Garcia had to have felt alone. He had to have felt alone, detached. And his only embrace came from Team Davis. That feels strange. You know, well, his father, his father, there's a, so his father, okay? His father, his God, um, his family, you know, that's, that's practice. I'm, I'm sure Ryan Garcia is fine, but it would, it would sting a bit. I would love to know what y'all think in the comments below. Um, I understand the security risk. Um, Oscar De La Hoya saying that there was a threat on his life, which, you know, I, I told you guys in my podcast, you know, we just be talking. I kick your ass when you show up. It would have been fine. Um, but you can't assume that. So I get it. Bernard Hopkins being stopped and not allowed. I get it. Um, but I think you would have to meet up with Ryan Garcia soon after. I mean, Conor McGregor did. Um, 
you know, there were a few people that reached out to, to Ryan Garcia, and I'm pretty sure he, he spoke to them, text, phone, stuff like that. Great fight. Um, but his response saying that he wasn't alone, that Jesus walks with him, kind of feels like he's saying, I was physically like by my left alone by my promotion company. What do y'all think in the comments below? Show biz the dope. I'm out. Huh.